do Archicad rendering in version 17 using Lightworks part 4 and what we're going to do now is just look at some of the materials that we're using because to get really good quality um, rendering we need to have good lighting and good materials now I have a material that's called RMD Gloss Black and this material is too shiny I have a material that's called RMD Concrete Burnished and this is not shiny enough and I have a material that's called Do, do, do. Textile and it's a little bit too bright. So let's try to adjust all of those. In our surfaces, surface settings, let's find those materials. RMD gloss black. Now it's very important to note that we're doing the rendering in Lightworks rendering engine so I could either change it here or I could change it in my uh, OpenGL or internal as long as I would match the settings because these aren't very complex materials or not very complex settings I could do it either way. Reflectance, I want to massively reduce the reflectant value. Okay, I had burnished concrete and I wanted to massively increase its mirror factor. I, I should be doing a lot of other things like displacement and making this better but I'm not, I'm not really trying to get the materials to be fantastic for this tutorial. We're really just talking about light, but just to understand light, I think it's important that we've got something that's a little bit more pleasant to work with. And this is just too bright. And there we go. So I'm just reducing the reflection, which is brightness in this case, uh, and diffused factor. Okay, so let's just do another quick render. I said that before, didn't I? And it was a little bit slower than quick. But let's see what's happening. Okay, while that's rendering, you'll see that the, the window light, which we're using as ceiling lighting, has all these little spheres. These spheres represent lights. So realistically, our ceiling light is not one light, but dozens or hundreds of lights. The point of this is that it gives an even distribution of light. The problem with this is, if we don't want it to be so even, then we need to do something about that. Now oh, that was good. One little click and I've managed to fix a lot of my materials. That's starting to work a lot better now. So let's have a look at what we can do and the differences with that. If I change that from light resolution 1, sorry, let's just decrease the intensity firstly. I'm going to make that 60 and already you see by, by just decreasing the intensity, I'm equally or simultaneously reducing the amount of spheres. Alternatively, I could leave the intensity at 1 and change the light resolution. The higher the resolution, the more light spheres there will be. I don't want lots, but if I only have one, let's have a look at what that does. It'll make my rendering speed faster, that's for sure. but we see it's going to overexpose the area directly where the light is and it's going to underexpose or make darker the areas further away. Why? Again, because it's not about the shape of the ceiling light, it's all about the light itself. So we're going to re-increase this to light resolution 1 and we're going to decrease this to about 60% or thereabouts. Now we're going to do something else because we're getting great light reflecting or being cast down onto the ground but we're not getting very good light at all shining back up into the ceiling. Again, why? Because light works doesn't bounce light very well. So how do we fix this? What we're going to do 
is we're going to artificially create a bounce. We're going to take a copy of this window light and we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to make the rotation angle minus 90. If you look very carefully, you'll see that the arrow is now pointing up. We're also going to go into the set sun position manually and turn its altitude to minus 90, which means the sun is now coming from down in the ground and shooting up. As a standard, this will flip our object because we changed the rotation. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. We're just going to reposition this best not to have them directly over the top of each other like I just did then because it makes them hard to find, hard to grab. And of course we need to change the height of this. So I want to have this um, about one meter high. So it's slightly above my kitchen bench, maybe 1.2, 1200. Slightly above my kitchen bench, above all my objects, and it's shining up. The one thing I forgot to add, which I'm going to just go back in and change the setting, is I don't want its intensity to be as high. Because unless I'm doing a lot of uplighting, the reality is that the bounce light should be less. So I'm going to make that about 40. Of course, I could type in any value I want. Let's go back to our render. And let's try it out. This is going to take a bit longer because we're adding more lights. We're adding more settings for ArchiCAD to think about. But remember, I'm still rendering on really low settings. I'm also rendering at a very low uh, resolution size. But now we're starting to get, you see in the kitchen here, probably better than anywhere else, we're starting to get light that is shining down and we're starting to get light that's shining up and all around the corners when wherever we should have shadow we're getting shadow now I haven't put in proper lights if I was to do this properly I'd have pendants I'd have down lights I'd have all the the actual lights that I'd be using in a real life interior situation but this was quite quickly done and of course I wouldn't need to do so many tests if I knew the results I was going to get anyway I've just been showing so many tests just so you understand the intention but now we've got a really good render without a lot of work. Now I'm just going to do one more render and I'm going to boost the settings just so you can see the quality of this. And this will take longer, so I'll finish the video and um, I'll just have one more video once I'm finished just to show you the final result. Uh, I might keep it at 72 because my screen, you won't see anything better than that anyway. But I'll make this 1000 just to make it a bit bigger. Everything else is on its best settings now. Let's start this off, and then I'll finish this video and come back and look at number five, just to see the final result. 